In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the second section of Una Matina. This is the advanced level arrangement. And the section I'm going to be showing you sounds like this. Now let's get started by first looking at the right hand part. And we're going to want to subdivide here everything by 16th notes. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. We're in 4-4, four, four. that's how we're going to subdivide those four beats by 16th notes. And that's because we see a lot of dotted eighths, we see a lot of 16th notes, and we see some ties as well. It's going to skew our sense of the meter or the timing here. So we want to make sure right out of the gate we're counting and subdividing. Let's get our hand up. This is about the position we're going to start in here, 4 on A, thumb on E, but then we're going to reach up, 4 on B, so we're playing that phrase a handful of times with some subtle differences in the rhythm. Here we're actually reaching up to that C. Now we're about halfway through, we have this little bit of a turnaround here. And we're right back to that same A to E theme. Let's keep moving. So that's the idea there. What I want to do now is walk through with our metronome, okay? I'm going to cue it up in my app here. I'm going to do it at the slow tempo first. Once we're feeling good there, we'll speed it up to the full speed. But speaking of subdividing, I'm now going to count this out at our slow tempo as we play. I'll give you a hint here before I turn on the clicks. It's going to look something like this. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1 E and a. You see what I'm saying? That can be a mouthful. So. If you need to pause the video here and walk through that on your own without the timing pressure, that might be a good idea. But when you're ready, let's try this now. Slow tempo, subdividing. One, two, set, go. One E and a two, a three E and a four E and a one E and a two, three, four E and a one E and a two, three. E. Four E and a one E and a two. Good. Four E and a one E and a two. And three E and a four E and a one E and a two. Three E and a four E and a one E and a two. And we can hold out to finish this phrase, but that basically is it for now. And of course, we're going to get to the left hand here in just a minute in this video, but let's speed things up here now with the right hand, then we'll shift gears. One, two, set, go. All right, guys, if you need extra work with me at that speed, please just pause, rewind this video, and play back with me as many times as you need. Now, when you're ready, let's go to left hand here. Now, this left hand part is the reason that I chose this section of this piece to teach. This is my favorite part of the song, you guys. What a pretty left hand part, right? It's very expressive, very flowing. And we get that major harmony spread out over an octave interval. I like to call that a tenth. We have the root, the fifth, 
and then one, two, three, the third. But when the third is over the octave, you kind of count over eight, right? So instead of it's the third, it's the tenth. Same thing here, G major, tenth voicing in the left hand. A minor, same idea. So that's our shape. And we're gonna be going back and forth between those notes in a certain pattern. That pattern looks like this. Three notes in the pattern. We play our lowest, then middle, then highest, and then we just toggle between the middle and the high. One E and a, two E and a. Second half of this measure, we're gonna move up diatonically to the next chord, G major, same pattern. Three E and a, four E and a. Same thing, A minor now. One E and a, two E and a, three. And then we're just gonna pause here and hold this half note. Now, same idea in the next phrase. However, let's look down to the next measure. Instead of playing a 10th, we don't play a 10th here. Instead, we play an octave. And there's a reason for that. And you'll see when we put the hands together. And then we play A, B, C. That's how we're gonna end the first half of this. Now, back down to F. Here again, though, we're now changing it from a 10th to an octave shape. Same thing with G, same thing with A minor here, half note. Now, in the final phrase, we're gonna combine elements from both of these shapes. We're gonna start with a 10th. Then on G, we go back to the octave shape. Same on A minor here. That final note is just a pick up to the next section. We're not gonna worry about that middle C not in this video, at least. All right, when you're ready, guys, let's try this in time. And again, we'll start at the slow tempo first. One, two, set, go. If you want to use your sustain pedal, too, you can. Just change it between the chords. Now. Now. Octave first. Now walk, king up, back down. Look ahead, here's a tenth. Now an octave. And hold. Great job. All right, let's speed it up to full tempo when you guys are ready. One. Set. Go. Okay guys, it's time to move on to putting these hands together. First, let me remind you guys that the notation you're seeing here, the green notes, the scroll bar, all this stuff, this is coming from the Playground Sessions interactive app. It grades you as you play and it does so much more. Tap this card above if you wanna learn about a free trial. You can access the app for 30 days, download it with no payment up front, and you can try it out like a full paid member, all access. If you don't like it in 30 days, you can cancel, no strings attached. You definitely wanna try this free trial if you're interested in making learning more fun and taking your piano to the next level. All right, let's move on and wrap up today's video. Let's get these hands up together. You can tell right out of the gate, there are a lot of notes here on screen. My teacher growing up used to say, there's a lot of ink on the page here, right? There's a lot of black notes, there's a lot of stems. That typically means there's a lot going on, right? We got a lot of stuff happening in each hand. Now, we already know each hand's part on its own. The important thing to do now is to spend time very slowly mapping out some of the weird hand syncopations, some of the weird coordination stuff. I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna start right on beat one of the first measure on screen here. Do the hands play together or separately? Well, they start together. And then the left hand moves on while the right hand's holding. Next note in the left hand is when the right hand plays E, but then that E holds while the left hand continues. 
Now, that right hand E is tied over into beat three as well. So the left hand is gonna change to the G shape while the right hand is still holding. But then here, they play together. Now for the last four sixteenth notes of this measure, they play all together. But right hand ties over, so left hand's gonna move to A while the right hand holds. But not for long. See what I'm doing here? I'm mapping it out one note at a time, one subdivided beat at a time. And I'm not worrying about even timing yet. I'm not looking at a scroll bar, I'm not hearing a metronome. That's an important part of putting the hands together if you're struggling with it. So with that said, let's assume now that you've done that work, now we're gonna try to put it together at our slow tempo, which again, may still feel fast if you haven't done some of that work I just demoed. All right, let's jump in. One, two, set. All right, guys, that's it. Again, please rewind and play back as many times as you need to feel comfortable with that. Again, even though it's the slow tempo, it's still a challenging speed as we're learning this. So take your time as you practice. All right, let's wrap it up now together with a full tempo run through. And guys, don't forget, if you didn't do it before, now's your chance. Tap that card above that says, what are you waiting for? It's a good question, guys. You gotta check out that free trial of our interactive app, 30 days, no strings attached. All right, let's wrap up Una Matina together now. One, two, set, go. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you learned something today. If there's anything else in the classical world that you'd like us to cover here on the YouTube channel or in our interactive app, which of course has songs in all difficulty levels, broken down section by section, full song arrangements, then you gotta let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Phil. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that notification bell. And be sure to check out the Playground Sessions interactive app. It was co-created by music legend Quincy Jones. Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs.